Hi, um, so for today's video, I am going to show you how I minimize um, paper waste when I am trying to do the um, 3D decoupage flowers that we all get, you know, some of us get from um, Tattered Lace, okay? All right, so I am going to take from the Floral Fragrance, the Princess. This is so pretty. So what happens is when I print this out, right? Then I got three pieces and only a few pieces of uh, decoupage. So it'll only make one flower when I want it to make all of it. So instead of printing all three flowers and then only one set of the decoupage, I am going to print out more pieces of decoupage with the one flower that I want to cut out. Okay, so the way I do that, I am going to um, get two pieces here. First of all, I've changed my craft studio to inches because I am in the United States. Um, and I use the 8.5 by 11 paper. I go into print also to make sure that my uh, paper will print out in letter, letter size. Okay. Go back to the home tab and click on the lasso knife but before I do that I am going to maximize so I can see the piece that I am going to be using. You click on the lasso and you are going to go around. Being careful that the only thing you are selecting is the what they call the bleed part okay I gotta lift my mouse all right I do not have steady hands so I try to be as careful as I can but sometimes it doesn't happen but that is all right Okay, you let go of the mouse. And here I'm going to have to minimize it because I am looking for this selection here. Now, I can either keep the outer, which will only give you these pieces here, or I can keep the inner, which is what I intend to do. Click on that, and there it is. So I am going to um, copy and paste, put that aside, and then I am going to select here the decoupage part. Okay, so maximize again so I can see exactly where I'm at. I'm going to click on the lasso and go around it. Sorry about the motorcycle. Sounds great though, I wish I was on one. Okay. Minimize it, keep inner. Can you see? 
All this is the bleed part. All that here. I didn't touch the image at all. You see? Okay. I'm going to um, copy and paste this um, twice. Actually, another one. Okay. Now at this point, if I am done, I am just going to arrange this on the paper so that I can just go ahead and send it to the printer. Okay, right there. And right there, which is perfectly fine because, you know, this will give me enough um, to fill out the whole flower and make it look really pretty. If I want it, I can put in another one in here. Now, and put it here in the corner. And anything that is within the white gridded part here is going to print out on the paper. Okay, and I will do that for you. Let me send it to the print. And here it is, you have the main flower and then three of the decoupage pieces. Okay, so this is gonna be a really full flower. Now, the second thing that I can do with this, let me put everything out, is I can change the individual colors of the flowers if I wanted that. Say for instance, I want this to be blue, these two here, I can take the lasso knife again and cut this piece out. With this one, you have to be a little more precise, okay? So take your time. put this one aside because I'm going to get the second one. This one right here. Now the way I am doing this is I am clicking on the left mouse. Okay. Right here. I am holding it down. And I am dragging the mouse while holding the left side button. Okay. And I think this is where the edge is. Let go and keep inner. 
all right so now I want to change these two to be the same color so I am going to select both of them okay maximize again so I can see what I'm doing and I'm going to go to effects and then start playing with the colors okay that's cute let's see bring that back maximize it again so I can see what I'm doing So what I'm trying to do is place it right on top right there minimize it again and I am going to select it all right click with the mouse right click and I am going to group I could have also gone like this selected and click group here on the top all right so next thing to do would have been the next thing would have been to cut all these out and make them all the same color so I am going to take my lasso knife me cancel that move that out of the way take my lasso knife and I'm just going to do a rough one here okay I don't think that one belongs there so I will just do these here sorry about that because this is something that should have been done at the same time keep inner I'm going to ungroup this, put these here, alright, select that and then I think that looks good, you see they kind of look the same, they're actually the same color, alright, okay, let me put this aside this one back group that You could do that if you want it. I am going to just print it out individually or cut it out individually because this is time consuming to try to get it just right. Okay, and you may not get it just right. Although I think I have it right here. Okay. group that
and then print. And here it is. Here you have the main flower and where I changed the two little ones here to blue. And I have the decoupage parts right here. Okay. And at the end of this video, I will go ahead and uh, show you what it looks like after it's been cut and assembled. 